some cash in the trash, money under a car, cheated tourists, police action, a slap, some spitting, and a lot of scammers. Yes, we have it all. Welcome to the new scam guide. Next element. For the following scam, you need a couple of ATMs standing next to each other, some worthless money, and obviously, a scammer. We've shown you multiple scammers on our previous episodes, and most of them were from the Romanian branch of the gang that operates in Prague. The ones we will show you today are from a Bulgarian part of the gang that still uses the same expired Belarusian rubles to cheat tourists, but their trick, how to scam the tourists, is a little bit more sophisticated. Since I told you that to perform the scam you need a pair of ATMs standing next to each other, it can only be done on few locations in Prague and this one is ideal. Let me show you how the scam goes. A tourist will approach an ATM to withdraw some cash. A couple seconds later, a scammer joins in right next to him. As the tourist gets his money, scammer also pretends to be withdrawing from his card. Once tourist is done with his withdrawal, scammer will turn to him and offer him to break his larger bill into some smaller ones. Any scam is based on the fact that you need to gain trust of your victim. And that works perfectly here. Because it looks like the scammer is withdrawing money out of an ATM. I mean, he's holding a money, he's holding his card, he's holding a receipt. And sometimes he will even take the money and place it against the light at the ATM to show that it is real. He just got it out of the ATM. Well, in reality, he did not get the money from the ATM. He got it from his pocket. During the day, this place, this location, is a busy tourist farmer's market. So the scammers usually show up in the evening when these places shut down. They use it as a hideout, but mainly it gives them a perfect overview of the ATMs so they know when to head out when somebody is getting their money out. Unfortunately, some tourists still fall for this trick and they get cheated. All right, so what happened? Uh, he stood next to me in the ATM and he asked to change for a 2,000. And uh, he gave me uh, four uh, bills of 500. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I changed. But fortunately, many people are smart enough not to fall for it. What just happened? Um, he, he wanted to exchange um, our big bills for his small bills. Right. But I think it's fake. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you didn't fall for that because no, no, of that? No, no, no. Well, we're not no. idiots. Yeah. Throughout the years, we have experienced some seriously crazy situations with this gang. Do you remember the time I was spit on? <laughs> And you remember the time I got slapped here? Or do you remember that time I sat down with the scammer for a coffee and I got really mad? Ani ho, a už mě to fakt se. Protože jsem nasraný. Ne, je mi to úplně jedno, co řeknete, protože budete lhát. You remember that time we were filming these guys and they were so drunk, they just fell asleep in the market and they did nothing? And Honza, do you remember the time we chased the guy and he got all naked in front of us? No, 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 not this one. The, the guy inside here, when, when he actually almost pulled down his pants. Yeah, those were some crazy times, man. No, no, no. Even though the trick with the ATM is quite clever, these guys are no criminal masterminds. Usually they just hang around the city, drink, gamble, and wait around to scam someone. So I think it's time for you to meet the sad guy. We filmed him on Monday, and he tried to scam someone at an ATM. Then we met the sad guy on Tuesday. I pretended to be a tourist, and he willingly broke my large bills into some smaller ones. We eventually caught up with him, and we called the cops, so they took him in to the police station. Now get this, the cops actually released the guy from the police station at exactly 10.56 p.m. 
And I kid you not, the sad guy was 11 minutes later standing next to an ATM trying to scam another tourist. My friend that I was filming with that day was really mad at him. By the way, only a couple weeks later, when my buddy Honza was getting money out of an ATM, and you can only guess who showed up to help, I'm sorry, scam him. The sad guy. Now, it's fair to say that in the past months, uh, these guys, this Bulgarian branch of the gang, pretty much disappeared from the streets of Prague. Until just recently, when me and Honza ran into them right here. Yeah. <laughs> No ale to je přece jedno, jestli okrádáte Čechy nebo turisty, tady můžete dělat. To vás jako nikdy nenapadlo? Nebudu vám podávat. Well, he had a lot of money on him. And uh, yeah, they, I mean, they keep trying it. This is the branch of the Bulgarian guys that usually hang out on uh, Havelské tržiště nearby the ATMs. And they try it here on Wenceslas Square as well. Now let's back up a minute here. Remember we told you scammers always work in pair? Yep. Notice this guy, our scammer's partner, just casually standing there watching the situation. But the minute we pulled out the camera, he disappeared. But I did meet this guy a couple days later on the market where we started. And I only had one question for him. And that was, where do they get these expired historical Belarusian rubles? Because I really want an answer to that. I'll tell you what I'm curious about in the past couple months. What you are? What do you want to know? <laughs> I want Tell to know, me. I want to know, who's the supplier of the money? Who gives you the money? I'll tell you, come. Okay. And why are we so desperate to find out who the supplier of the money is? And what does the money that the Bulgarian branch and the Romanian branch use have in common? And will these guys ever face court? <laughs> and will they ever go straight? Stop to do this, stop to... To lie the tourists. Subscribe for future episodes to find out. No, we are, we are not dangerous. And as usual, at the end, I will teach you a Czech word. This time, it's how to say to spit. Uh, to spit is plivat. Uh, so plivat is to spit, and the spit itself, uh, the piece that flies out, is plivanets. Plivanets is the spit. <laughs>